Hello everyone. Welcome back to my Mind Flare YouTube series. Uh, in this episode, I wanted to talk a little bit more about how to use Minecraft data. Um, this is something that a lot of people get confused on, and I figured this would be helpful for a lot of users getting started and writing their own programs and bots and libraries and stuff. It's worth noting that uh, in Minecraft, all blocks and entities and everything have an ID, right? But this ID is not static across versions. So a block ID may be, say, 58. The, for crafting tables, 58 in, um, say, Minecraft 1.8. But it's not 58 in 1.16. So if you try to hard code, say, find block 58 or something like that, it's not going to work in later versions of Minecraft. And it will only work in this specific version you tested it. Minecraft data helps with this purpose since it loads the data Per version for you. Um, you can start this pretty easily by saying creating a variable, let's say MC data, loading the Minecraft data library, and initializing it with the bot version. This has to be done after spawn since it won't know what version the bot is going to be using until it logs into the server. This way we can load the block ID dynamically straight from Minecraft data. Minecraft, Minecraft data is included with Mineflayer, so if you install Mineflayer, Minecraft data comes with it. You, know, um, you don't need to install it specifically or anything. I know some people, what they like to do is if they want to avoid declaring it more than one time, they can uh, basically do something like that where they just initialize it as a variable on the bot itself. This is just a something if you want to uh, always just do the, load it one time and then just always have access to the same instance. That's a convenient way to do it. So, how can we use this? Well, let's give some examples. Starting off, I want to start with a simple chat event and let's define some examples. Copy that. Oh, why don't you copy it? Oh, well, I guess my uh, thing is not working, so. I have a second computer here, and I'm copying everything off that computer using a um, barrier, but it doesn't seem to be working right now. I was working earlier, which is disappointing. But, oh well. Alright. So, let's start off with the uh, basic man handler. In this case, we're going to listen for when the when someone says something in chat, and split the message up by spaces. Uh, pretty standard stuff. Uh, if we wanted to, say, for example, get uh, when the player says to find the item ID for something, alright? And I'm, right now, this is not something you'd probably actually do in-game. I'm just showing you how to use Minecraft data. So, if you wanted to, for example, find the item ID of something, we could... Items... Uh, name... ID. And we can, like, print that. Dot, dot, dot. All right, so what am I writing right now? Okay. So if I say something in chat, like, uh, find the item ID of something, we can load, get the MC data object from the bot and get items by name. You put in the name of the item here, so, since I want to get the item ID of args1, so I could actually put this as item name. It's args1. Clean this up a bit, something you'd read it a little better. You put the name of the item in here, inside these brackets that you want to find, and then you can get its ID and other properties around it. If I go ahead and start this project up, All 
All right. So if I say item ID of oak log, for example, the item ID for oak log is currently 37. If I do grass block, it's eight. I'm currently using Minecraft 1.16.1. So those are the ID values in this version. Again, this is can, can uh, change from version to version. So what I'm effectively doing right now is loading the ID dynamically and for this version and then it, I, being able to use that ID. So if I want to do something like find right here, if bar zero equals find, what I can uh, say find block, const block equals dot find block and matching let's say some id but if i normally you'd put the id of the block here if it, for earlier version of minecraft 58 it's a crafting table but again ids are not static so what we can do is once id equals bot dot mc data dot blocks by name press block w and then we can put id right there so what we're doing here is because we've assigned the MC data, created a variable on the bot, you don't need to, you can just, you can do it up here like I did at the beginning. Either one works. And then if you, if you do that, you just specify that like that, but, but I'm going to keep it on the bot for now. So because we put bot uh, dot MC data, we're getting the block, trying to locate a block ID with the name grass block. So the block type named grass block which is grass and then getting the id of that now we're going to locate where that block is in the world and then we can simply block dot position so we can find out the block is at a specific coordinates so if i restart my bot find and there's a grass block it's right here which yes it's one of these two and it looks like it's two it's one of these so it found one all right um this works for other things like if you want to find entities with a certain id items with a certain id blocks with a certain id um Note that items and blocks have different ID. So the item ID for something like obsidian is different from the block ID of obsidian. So you use items by name if you want to find an item, blocks by name if you want to find a block. You can use entity entities that name. So you can print out a list of these. So if arg zero equals let's say types list type list. And what am I doing here? Well, basically, the I'm getting a list of all the uh, keys or variable names from the MC data object, which are these. This is a variable name. So I'm getting a list of those and just printing it to chat. So if I say type list, well, it printed a text that was way too long. Whoops. Dot join. There. There. And you can see she printed out all the names. You could go blocks, blocks by name, blocks array, blocks state ID, uh, biomes, you know, items, items by name, foods by saturation, foods by food points, block loot, block loot array, uh, enchantments by name, there's entities array, particles, particles by name. There's So there's a lot of them. All right, and th what that will help you do is find IDs for all these different things which are not version specific. You can, it'll help you find blocks of a specific version. Uh, so if I go say something like, 
Next list. I've bought that. Blocks. And map that. Okay. So if I get a list of the key, all the blocks in a uh, thing, and this is not actually an array, so that's okay. So if I get all the blocks in the game, get the names of all the blocks and join them by lists, it'll print a significant amount. <laughs> uh, type list. And... Well, I broke it, but that's besides the point. <laughs> um... Well, it doesn't really matter. Yeah. This was just a really quick video uh, to help understand some of the new users of how to use Minecraft data and what it's used for. So, you always load versions from Minecraft data, or IDs like that. And remember to load Minecraft data after the bot spawns. So, chat events are called after spawn, spawn event is called after spawn. Uh, do not ever call it here, uh, since what happens is if you call it here, the bot has not spawned yet. It's requested to spawn, but it's still logging in. So never here, always put it in a spawn event, a chat event, or something of the like, where you can guarantee the bot has already spawned. Alright, very much, and I hope you have a wonderful day.